Thanks for joining me today. We got some good stuff ahead on Pastor Bob's Coffee Break. Merry and bright. Oh my goodness. It's our countdown to Christmas, just a few days away, and nothing says Christmas better than an old trailer. I know, I have one right there. Old trailers and old red pickup trucks with Christmas trees. Just saying, it's the new Christmas. <laughs> well, I want to talk about the Christmas story and some different aspects of it. And you know, one of the things that I love about being a Christian is that God is always large and in charge. Always. Let's look at our scripture for today. Luke chapter 2 and verses 11 through 14. And it says, For this day in the city of David there has been born to you a Savior. By, by the way, born to you a Savior who is Christ the Lord, the Messiah. By the way, the Messiah. <laughs> and this will be a sign for you by which you'll recognize him. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And then suddenly there appeared with an angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts, an, an angelic army, it says, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest in heaven, and on earth among men with whom he is well pleased. That's you and me. Say, are you sure he's well pleased with this? Yeah, he is. This is good, he said. When he made us. But by the way, folks, an angelic army shows up singing glory to God in the highest. An army, a bunch of angels. And where? In a stinky cave with the Messiah laying in a manger. You know, there are so many times, folks, that we feel like we're at a disadvantage. And I feel like that sometimes with world events right now, and you think, what's going to happen? There, there's so much unrest, and there was during this time, too. I mean, it's a parallel. There was a lot of unrest. People were saying, please, Lord, come. You know, we need a Messiah. We need somebody to straighten all this out. And, you know, they killed him, but he came, and he did what he set out to do, and... His death was a pathway for you and I to heaven. He died for our sins. But here he is, laying in a dirty manger. We talked about that before. A manger was, you know, what, uh, what they used to feed cattle out of. Probably hay and different things in it. And it was in a cave with stinky cattle who were pooping everywhere. That's the scene. And why did he choose this one? He just did. Because I think he wanted to show us that God can show up for anything. He can do anything. He can be anywhere at any time in any situation. He is never at a disadvantage. And folks, let me just tell you this about your life right now about the situation we find the world in today, this time of unrest, and it seems like nothing's getting fixed and it's getting worse and the bad people are winning and, you know, all of that. If he can show up in a dirty manger, just think what he can do with everything else. God is never at a disadvantage. He is never at a disadvantage God is always large and in charge, always, from the very beginning. And not only does he show up in the most unlikely place, but he brings an army, an army of angels. And what do they do, fight? No, they sing, because they realize that this is the answer. This is the Messiah. This is the hope for humanity. And he still is. 
It's great, isn't it? So don't be troubled. Don't be despaired. Don't be, you know, feel like you're at the end of things and you can't get through that, you know, what's going on around us is just going to happen and there's nothing we can do about it. God is large and in charge. And don't forget, you are blessed. So go and be a blessing.